What distinguished you from the pack? There are a lot of other self-driving startups out there. Well, we've got unique technology that we've been developing at Newtonomy that draws on my background and my co-founder's background at MIT. You know, we've also been in this space longer than just about any other startup. We've got more cars on the road, more miles under our belt, and again, that differentiating technology. So that's really what set us apart. Why go with a supplier rather than an auto manufacturer? You know, the suppliers of the world, the Delphi's of the world, sit in a really interesting position where they can go off and sell to the, the fleet markets, the robo-taxi opportunities and similar, and they can also sell to their traditional OEM customers. So a well-positioned tier one supplier like Delphi sits at a very strategically valuable point in this industry today. So you've been testing autonomous cars in Singapore. Will we see you doing the same in Boston? You will, and in fact, we are today. Uh, and we're going to be expanding our testing in the coming weeks and months. We're going to be introducing uh, our technology to members of the public in Boston and getting everyday people off the street into our cars and letting them experience what it's like to ride in a self-driving car. And we're going to learn from that experience because the reality is, even though a lot of people out there have heard about this technology, far fewer have, have actually experienced it. And we want to really see what they think. Now, there's a bill enabling self-driving car testing in the U.S., working its way through Congress. You know, why, what will this bill change for you? You know, there's some criticism that, uh, you know, some folks say this, this would allow you to test self-driving cars without adequate safety restrictions and without adequate oversight. Well, the big picture, what's really important about this bill is it's going to create a uniform playing field across the 50 states. Today, if you're testing this technology in Massachusetts, if you're testing in California, if you're testing in Michigan, you're playing by different sets of rules. And so when you think about investing broadly in this technology, it's difficult to do so when you don't have uniformity and clarity around the regulation. And what the federal guidance will do is provide that uniformity and clarity. So that's why it's important. Earlier this year, you and Lyft announced a partnership on a passenger service in Boston Seaport District. You've said that that uh, partnership will continue, but can you tell us more about the fate, you know, how we'll see this play out? So that partnership is ongoing. We, uh, we, we, we really like and respect the guys at Lyft. Uh, I have a great relationship with them. There were Lyft engineers in our offices just this past week doing some joint engineering. And so we will be moving forward with that partnership uh, very, very soon in the coming weeks.